With the release of the new TI-84 Plus C, there's sure to be a lot of questions comparing the TI Inspire CX and the TI-84 Plus C. Uh, I've used them both extensively. In fact, I've got a book out about how to use each of them. And so I wanted to put a video together explaining what I think are the key differences between the two. I do think they're both excellent calculators and students can learn well on either one. However, that said, I would definitely still recommend the TI Inspire CX for students who are in a situation where they're given the choice. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown on why, doing uh, some side-by-side -side comparisons. I'm going to show you some video using the two different calculators side-by-side, -side, explaining to you some of the hang-ups that I think my students have when they use uh, the TI-84 Plus models in class even though the TI-84 Plus C is a substantial improvement over previous TI-84 Plus models. The first is in graphing. When you graph with the TI Inspire CX, when you use trace mode, it just automatically detects all the points of interest, which I think is, it just makes graphing so much easier. So you'll see it automatically finds y-intercepts, x-intercepts, uh, maximum, minimum. This just makes finding these points of interest so much easier for students. When you're on a TI-84 model, uh, you'll see that here instead there's a, a series of calculations you have to do where you tell the, the TI-84 that you, where the left boundary is to look for the point of interest and the right boundary and then make a guess. You know, I'm not saying it's the most difficult thing in the world, but there is an adjustment and a learning curve, particularly with younger students in an Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 setting. They always get it in the end, but... I definitely find that the TI Inspire students can hang on, uh, catch on more quickly to the using the trace method. Additionally, there are just a lot of features that are built straight into the operating system on the TI Inspire that you have to access via apps when you're working on the TI-84 plus C. So uh, one example of that are the equation solving features. So here I'm solving for the roots of a polynomial, just a real simple one, x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. And you can see it's built right into the main menu on the home screen. It just pops the answer right up. You could do this on the TI-84 Plus C, but you do have to go into apps and access uh, the polynomial root finder and simultaneous equation solver. This can be done. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but the more you do it, uh, the more you find it is a little bit inconvenient compared to the TI Inspire. This isn't the only example of this. Inequality graphing uh, is like this. Uh, dynamic geometry graphing, which I'll get to in a minute, is like this. There's just a number of features which are baked right into the operating system with the TI Inspire that you have to access via apps with the, T, with the TI-84 Plus C. I also really like the file and folder system that you've got with the TI Inspire. You can see here it's file and folder just like you're used to on a Mac or a PC. You can save your work. If you're a teacher, you can create documents and then send them to students. Uh, the, the, the model of opening windows is a lot like tab browsing. It really makes it easier for students to save work. I also like uh, the, the pop-up menu system on the TI Inspire. Now, they've improved it a lot. You'll see here on the 84 Plus C, um, they, they did this a couple of versions on the operating system ago. But it's not nearly as complete as what you're going to see here on the TI Inspire. Virtually every major feature is accessible through this uh, menu system, this pop-up menu system. It's just a drop-down window system like you're used to on just about any major computer software. If you're good, you can just sort of hunt through there and find the feature you need. Uh, dynamic geometry, technically you can get there through an app on the TI-84 Plus C. This is Cabri Jr. I find you really have to kind of um, hunt and peck around with the keys though. Uh, this is uh, me drawing a couple of different circles. It's um, it's not a very enjoyable experience to use the dynamic geometry software on the TI-84. It can be done, but it's it's a lot of work. It's not a very fluid process.
Now, by contrast, the dynamic geometry software on the TI Inspire is really fluid. Here, I'm going to use a couple circles to construct uh, a perpendicular bisector. This, this dynamic geometry software is actually good enough that we've used it as a replacement for desktop software in our introductory geometry uh, uh, classes at my school. Um, it's, it's got most of the features you'd need in any sophomore freshman geometry type class. Really impressive. And part of what makes it so good is that the TI Inspire, another advantage it has over the TI 84 plus C, you'll see me dragging the cursor over the keypad there, but that would actually be your finger in, in normal cases. It's got a touchpad that allows you to use it basically like a mouse pad on a computer. You just can't get that level of control with the directional arrow keys on the T84 plus C. The last thing I want to show you here are trig functions. Uh, the T84 plus C has sine, cosine, and tangent, of course, but that's all it's got. Um, when you go in on the, the TI Inspire, you've got all six uh, trig functions, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Yes, you, there obviously there are workarounds. You can, you can make it work on the T84 plus C, but I found for weaker students, it really does help to have the advantage of having all six trig functions. So that's just a few of the features of the differences between these two. There are many differences that you'll find between the two calculators, but these are some of the key ones I find for beginning students. Um, and and that is, those are some of the major reasons I do recommend the TI Inspire uh, CX for my students and readers of my website. So as always, thanks for watching. Check out the description box. I've got links to the full written review comparing these two calculators, as well as links to both of these calculators on Amazon.com.